this is how we set up the iPad for the green screen equipment in 407. This is how we set up the tripod. This is our tripod mount. We set the iPad in its case through the, the handle and then we push this arm down so it clicks and is strong. If you need to adjust the height of the tripod, you can undo this knob and crank on the knob to make this metal stem come down lower. But be careful, it will come all the way down. You can also adjust the height of the tripod by opening up these clips and extending the pole, then clipping them shut again. Press the home button to unlock. Okay. And use the camera app. Select video. And if it's not showing in widescreen, you can double tap the screen to change between them. To turn on the lights, you can press these two switches on the back. When you're recording in green screen, make sure you stay away from the ball just a little bit, like standing on that X. To release the iPad, we press these two buttons together and the arm comes up. A fast way to back up your images to your Google account is to grab the wire that will be hanging on a magnet behind Mr. Schultz's computer on the whiteboard. Plug the cable in and allow access. After you've granted access with the cable plugged into the Chromebook, it'll open the file management system on your Chromebook. You'll see a folder that says Apple iPad, DCIM, and 100 Apple. If you travel it within the 100 Apple folder, you'll see all these videos here. Look for the ones that you shot today just to make sure those are yours. All you have to do then is drag them into your Google Drive. Make sure you put everything back in its place. You've turned the lights off on the green screen lights and you put the wire back up on the whiteboard. Now you're ready to do the green screen editing that your footage is now shot. So we'll see you back in class and we'll be ready to work.